Being a popular actress, Lan Feng is also a dancer, TV host, and sometimes a singer. But for her, being an actress is the greatest dream of her life. Since graduated from Ho Chi Minh City College of Performing Arts and Cinema, Phương has been acting in dozens of TV series, many of which have received great response from TV viewers. 2013 marks her 10th year in her acting career. By now, Phương also gets involved in various media campaigns, which either aims to raise people's awareness on social problems or promote the Vietnamese culture to the world. Hello and welcome to our show on the mic of VTV4. So first, could you please introduce about yourself to TV viewers? Hi, my name is Lan Phu and I'm an actress. And uh, my job is doing acting on theater, on TV series, and sometimes movie. Graduated from Foreign Trade University, but you then decided to become an actress. So have you ever felt uh, regret about that decision? No, never. Actually, I studied um, Foreign Trade University and the, uh, let's say, College of Theatre and, and Movie. So I, I graduated both. And of course, I chose to be an actress since I was a little kid. And my dream is always to be an actress for the for my whole life. You have tried uh, dancing, uh, TV host, and also acting. So by far, what is the form of art or the career that you feel most interested in? Acting. I always to be an actress. Um, but dancing is one of my passion when I was small too. And now I still love dancing. So I hope that I have some character or movie or theater that I I have a character that she can dance and she loves dancing, so I can use both. But my whole life I want to be an actress. Among the characters that Lan Phương plays, Mai Lan in the Vietnamese version of Ugly Betty is the most impressive to TV viewers. With her delusions and great passion for acting, Lan Phương has been invited to attend dozens of TV series with hundreds of episodes. Her tireless efforts have won her the nomination for the Best Supporting Actress of HTV Award 2007 and a gold medal within the National Theatrical Play in 2009. With the success in the acting career, Lan Phương has been invited to join in several movies including Scandal in 2012, The Partner in 2013 and Bright War 2 which will come to theater next year. And it seems that TV viewers are most impressed with your acting in uh, TV series and movies. So what do you think about that? When I do something, I do with my heart. And when I do something, I first, I respect the job that I'm doing. I respect the audience. Most of the audience, they will spend time at home and watch TV. So uh, TV series will, will be... Um, closer to them and they, they will feel close to their life and, and it's easier for them to sit down and watch and enjoy and remember the actress and, and love somebody that they like on the TV. And by far, what are the characters that left you the most uh, impressions or experiences in the films you attended? I always love character that has interesting personality and life. So I want, I always love that type of character. And so far, I have some of my favorite characters like um, Mai Lan in the Ugly Betty version, Vietnamese version. And the second one is, um, in Vietnamese, we say, Hoa hồng không dành cho em. Like, uh, roses are not for you. So like, your life is not full of roses. My character is very mild and generous and naive. And then later on, she become crazy because her mother-in-law torture her a lot. So she become crazy and then later on she become normal again but um, I enjoy a lot when I act the part when she was normal and then she become became crazy and then she become normal again that's very interesting and one of the characters that I would love to do in the future is something have mental problem recently you were invited to join in the partner a film that we, which is jointly produced by Vietnam television and TBS from Japan so what do you think when you received uh, such invitation? When I got chosen, I was very happy because I love Vietnam. Of course, that's my country. And I love Japan. I don't know why, but I had 
many experience with them, many memories, many friends, and I have a special feeling for Japan and Japanese. So when I can do it, be in that project, I feel, oh, this is something that I can do to show my respect and my love to both countries that I love. After months of filming, The Partner, a drama jointly produced by Vietnam Television and Japanese TBS, has been finished and aired in September. The film depicts the friendship between Phan Bo Cho, a pioneer in the struggle for Vietnamese independence, and Sakitaro Asaba, a Japanese physician. We and VTV directors and producers have worked very hard to finalize the location in the script. It took us around eight months until we took the first short. The Japanese supervise about the contents and locations in Japan, while we care about those factors in Vietnam so as to ensure the highest quality to the drama. The partner paints a vivid picture of how Japan, Vietnam and their citizens relate today in the world business and through international marriages. With a cast of stars from both countries, the partner featured performances by Noriyuki Hagashiyama of Japan, Phạm Huynh Dong and Lan Phương of Vietnam. With this all-star cast, the partner is set to make a similarly big impression on viewers when it broadcast in both countries on the same day in September 2013. So what can you say about your character in the film? My character is like a, a girl, a Vietnamese girl, who's going to get married to someone she loves, and he's, Jap he's Japanese. But the problem is he has a daughter, and the daughter didn't like me in the beginning because she's afraid that she will forget her mom because her mom passed away a long time ago. So she didn't want to open her heart to receive me. So I had to try a lot, like try to cook Japanese food and try to make her happy and everything. But I always get like the like uh, rejection from her. But in the end, everything is fine and we have a very happy wedding. And in your opinion, what are the biggest differences between this film and the films that you attended before? This project is very important. That is like um, like something like anniversary, uh, 40 years relationship between Vietnam and Japan. So it means a lot, even politically, on art, so everything It's very important. So, and I love I'm so proud to be in that project. You said that you have some special connections and bonds with the Japanese culture. So have you had any opportunity to uh, get those experiences so that it could uh, help you in this film? So far, I went to Japan seven times. Yeah. Um, and the first time I went there was in uh, 1998, like quite long time ago. I joined the event called the Asian Pacific Children's Convention in Fukuoka. And 10 years later, I came back to that event, but with like a bigger role called Peace Ambassador. And then I had the chance to join the Ship for the Southeast Asia Youth Program. Then the movie. So I learned many things. Uh, Sometimes me and other friends, they are so surprised of why I have so many chances. Like it's meant to be that I will have a very good connection with them. And finally, could you reveal some information about your next uh, projects in the coming time? Now I'm doing a, I'm having a different job. I'm the judge in like an acting competition for the young people. This is the time that I sit down, relax, and I look at them and I give judgment and that is something very different and interesting and meanwhile I'm, I'm working with a TV series, action TV series, um, very interesting too but just some first days of shooting and I'm doing an English play called The Dangerous Liaison so all are very interesting to me and takes take lots of my time now. Thank you very much for joining our show and we do hope to see you back in the future. Thank you, and I would love to come back and see you again.